Hello, you. Have I ever told you the story of when I got lost and ended up in another country? <laughs> yeah, it happened. I had just moved to Germany, and I didn't speak the language yet, which made getting around a little confusing. Fortunately, I lived near the airport, and I knew that if I could make it to the airport, I could make it home. And there were plenty of signs around that would point people to the airport, so I really wasn't worried. Well, until one day, when I went to go visit a friend of mine who lived in a part of town I hadn't been in before. On my way back, I, I got kind of turned around and I wasn't quite sure where I was. And I drove and I drove and, and suddenly, up ahead, I saw a sign for the airport. And I thought, great, everything's gonna be fine. I just have to make it to the airport and then I can make it home. Well, when I got there, I realized that it wasn't the airport near my house. It was a different airport. And not only that, the street signs were a different color and they were in a different language. Somehow I had crossed the Dutch border and ended up in Holland without even realizing it. Not knowing the language made it impossible for me to correctly interpret the signs and I ended up in a whole other country. Well, the same sort of thing can kind of happen if we're not careful as we look for our big answers. Before we tackle what to believe, what are the answers to who am I and what am I doing here and do I have a purpose, we have to think about, well, how are we going to interpret the clues that we see, the signs that we see along the way? Well, historically, people have tackled this problem in one of two different ways. One side likes to look at it intellectually and they ask all of the scientific questions and they calculate and they probe and they, and they ask a lot of questions. The other side is very spiritual and emotional and they want to feel it all the way down deep in their soul what the truth is. Let's say that these two are like chocolate and vanilla. That one side is always wanting to think vanilla. Let's reason it through. Let's think it out. And these are the people that say, well, the truth has to be something that you can touch. Whereas the other side says, no, 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 no. It's about, you've got to feel it. You've got to know it in your heart. You've got to know it in your soul. You've got to feel the chocolate everywhere. No, 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 says the vanilla side. You got to think it through. Well, the problem is, as long as one side is interpreting the signs the way that they would. So say the vanilla side is always going to interpret whatever sign they come across intellectually. And chocolate is always going to interpret whatever sign they come across emotionally, we're never going to know what the sign actually says. You've got to have a language that's going to correctly interpret the sign in light of both of them. And so we have to find some sort of, well, some sort of middle ground, <laughs> some way that is going to be able to satisfy all of the people who need intellectual answers and satisfy all of the people who need emotional answers. Because at the end of the day, the real question is, is there something out there that's real? Or is this all just something that we're making up? Because if it's something that we believe in just to feel better, well then it doesn't really matter how we interpret the signs, any language will do. But oftentimes that'll leave you just driving in circles. Being able to correctly interpret the signs in light of our intellect and in light of our emotions is the only way that we're going to see if we've actually reached where we're trying to go. If we're following the correct sign that's going to take us to the correct airport that's going to get me home. What we want to do is to make sure that something is, well, that it's worth believing in. And the reason it's important to know whether it's true or whether it's not true is because something that's not true isn't going to hold up when life gets difficult. It's not going to be able to offer true comfort if it's just something you're imagining. If I believe that if I hold my breath, I can jump off a bridge and I'll fly, I can believe it with all my heart. But gravity is going to tell me otherwise. And if I jump off that bridge, I'm in trouble because gravity is going to be real whether I believe in it or not. So as we're moving forward and as we think about the different ways that we can talk about what there is, is there something real? Is there something legit? Is there something that's going to be there for you to hold on to when life gets tough? Then the only way to make sure that it's real is to know that it's something that's going to satisfy both sides, that it's going to satisfy both our vanilla thinking and our chocolate feeling, that it's going to satisfy our hearts and our minds. 
So that's the direction we're going to go. We're going to start off with different things that we feel, and then we'll talk about things that we see, and we'll see where we go from there. So, love you. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow.